Alrighty yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Fania, welcome back to another video boys, today we are back for episode number 2 of the MC Hub prison series, hope you guys are all having an amazing day and before the video does start, the 2500 coins giveaway winner will be up on the screen right now and in today's video, we're going to be giving away 3 Valentine's loot boxes to one of you lucky people. Now if you guys want to go ahead and enter, all you guys have to do is drop a like in the video, comment your IGN and last but not least, make sure you guys are connected to the server using my IP, fane.mc hub.com i do have a way of checking if you're using my ip and if you're not then unfortunately i will have to re-roll the giveaway winners so please do go ahead and switch ips right now with that being said though hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video i'll see you guys in the next clip and peace out Alrighty, boys we're starting this video off by opening up a few of these valentine's loot boxes and also if we type in such coins we got a coins balance of 5,000, and we're going to spend all of this in today's video as well but before we go ahead and spend the coins let's get into opening up these valentine's loot boxes these are actually super overpowered you can win a bunch of good stuff from these and um yeah so hopefully we can get lucky and get some very very good stuff that's gonna go ahead and help us out but let's go ahead and get into it we're gonna open up our first valentine's loot box and see what type of stuff we can go ahead and get so we got an epic pet charm we got a 12 hour city token and then a rare pet charm okay not too bad um i don't really know what these charms do once again man like we are still new to the server we barely know what any of these things do but hopefully we'll get the hang of it very very shortly and also as you guys can see we are wearing a few custom pieces with our armor if we go ahead and right click and go to the item skins as you guys can see we got the amethyst boots which is giving us a 0.25x cell booster and then we also got some sick leggings on which is giving us a chocolate multiplier of 2x and a mind cooldown reduction of 15 seconds anyways moving on let's go ahead and open up the second valentine's loot box and see what we can go ahead and get First reward is going to be a random pouch, massive, um, a tier 5 ascended gemstone, and 3 boat keys. Okay, not too bad. Let's go ahead and open up this massive booster pouch and see what we can get. A 49 minute and 49 seconds of a booster, which I don't know what boost is. Wait, never mind. It's a machinery booster. Okay, I heard that that's actually very overpowered. And um, so yeah, that is very good. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up our final Valentine's loot box. We got a title, 12 hour city token, and then what was the other reward? We got a tier 10 phantom pickaxe gemstone which gives us an endurance x this enchantment can only be applied to phantom pickaxes okay i don't know what that is but we'll go ahead and take it i mean if it's in the loot boxes then it should be pretty overpowered but let's go ahead and put all this stuff in here there we go we got some voting keys to go ahead and open up as well so let's go ahead and do this there we have it let's open these vote keys and see what we can get first one a small booster pouch second one we got ourselves an e-token pouch and then the third one we got ourselves a small beacon pouch okay let's go and open up that let's go and open up that and also open up that now now let's get into spending all of our coins let's type in such coin shop and see what type of stuff we can go ahead and get so we can get auto miners um j keys crate keys passes and premium wait let's go ahead and see okay that's a battle pass i don't really want that um the j kits let's see what there is j kit for me oh wait you can only buy these on the service store the valentine's loot boxes are right there so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and buy some crate keys actually and um we'll go ahead and just spam a bunch of these skin keys so let's go ahead and do that there we go and i'm um, probably just maybe buy like 20 or so because I do want to get like a decent skin to be able to you know help us progress along quicker alrighty there we go we got 20 skin crates in total now let's go ahead and type in such coins and see what our remainder balance is for these coins and we got 2200 to go ahead and spend and I think with the rest I might just buy a bunch of robot keys to you know upgrade my collection so let's go ahead and type in such coin shop once again and then we're going to go ahead and spend the rest of our coins on these robot keys so let me go ahead and quickly just spend it all and I'll bring guys back once we are out of coins all right Instead of buying more robot keys, I ended up purchasing another three of these Valentine's loot boxes. So let's go ahead and just put those in there for right now. And um, I do want to go ahead and quickly open up these two robot keys that we got in hopes so we can get a few good robots. And then the first one is going to give us an iron drill. Oh my god, okay, that's literally the worst thing that we could have gotten. And then the last one, let's go ahead and see. At least give me like a decent robot. And we got ourselves a diamond drill. Okay, yo, that's actually pretty good because if we go ahead and quickly type in such mine, we'll return back to the crate key section in a moment uh we actually do have ourselves a diamond drill wait where the hell is it all right let's just go into our drill manager then and th there we go right over here let's go ahead and collect all earnings and then also pick this up there we go and now if we can go ahead and just combine this there we go we now have ourselves a emerald drill let's go ahead and place this down there we go and um this is making us 759 000 e tokens per hour now so yeah, that is very good i mean i'll absolutely go ahead and take that let's go back to such crates though and i do want to go ahead and quickly 
quickly just spam through all of these skin crates. So let's go ahead and spam through these in hopes that we can get ourselves a legendary. I'm pretty sure this is actually not too bad. Wait, is that legendary? The reactor spear. Let's go ahead and quickly just check that out. Yo, there we go. This is actually an epic, which is good. I'll go ahead and take that. Let's see what the effect does though. I don't know if it will show it or not here, um, but the reactor um, spear right over here. Let's go ahead and see how do we check what it does actually. Um, I don't know how to check that, um, but I mean, I'll go ahead and take it since it's an epic. Let's go ahead and just spam through the rest of these though and um, see what type of stuff we can go ahead and get. And we actually got ourselves a chest plate, which gives us a 0.25 XL multiply if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and equip this on right about now. Okay, so this gives us a 0.1 XL booster and this gives us a 0.25 XL. Let's go ahead and equip that. There we go. And um, there we have it. We have the chest plate on now and let's go ahead and get back into opening up these skin crates. And we got the ancient blood boots. I don't know what that does. We've got Mythius boots once again. Um, let's go ahead and actually quickly just check what these boots do. This is all new to me, boys. I'm so sorry um, if I'm like checking out everything and stuff like that. But there we go. 0.53 XL booster. I'll absolutely go ahead and take this. There we go. Let's go ahead and activate that. And we still got a few more skin crates to go ahead and open up. So let's go ahead and just spam the rest of these open. And then we'll go ahead and check everything out after. And we'll get ourselves a reactor scythe. Um, I don't know what that does. We've got a deep rock chest plate. And then um, somewhere up here, we've got something else i'm pretty sure okay never mind all right let's go to quickly open up the rest of these skin crates and then we'll go ahead and just check out everything that we got boom 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 and then last but not least our final one and wait did i get something good everyone's saying oh poseidon's wave skin from a skin crate okay what does that even do let's go ahead and quickly just check yo what the hell we got ourselves a poseidon's wave and the chest is actually godly and this guy's saying that skin's worth thirty thousand gold coins and if you guys don't know thirty thousand gold coins is worth like four hundred dollars in real life that is actually insane, man. Yo, GG's, bro. Let's go ahead and actually activate that right now. Boom. Let's go ahead and actually read what it does. Um, so Poseidon will ride a wave of dolphins across your mind and destroy everything in their path. Mind reset cooldown reduced from 60 seconds to 45 seconds. Okay, man. This is actually very good. Let's go ahead and activate this. Literally, the entire server is asking to buy this right now. Okay, let's go and see. Did we get any helmets? Um, yes, we actually did. I'm gonna go ahead and probably just put this one on. And then do we get any better armor? pieces let's go ahead and see we got the leg yo we got ancient blood leggings let's go ahead and put that on it's gonna give us a 0.53 xl booster and then with the chest plates did we get a better one let's go ahead and check and we got a deep rock chest plate let's go ahead and equip that on there we go and yo we are actually pretty damn stacked those skin crates were actually super worth it like i'm very glad that we got them um, but we still got a few of these valentine's loot boxes to go and open up as well so let me go ahead and quickly just spam these open real quick and see what we can get i've got an extra large booster backpack and extra large e-tokens backpack let's go ahead and open up that open up that and then we got a few vote keys as well to go ahead and open up let's go ahead and spam these open and now last but not least boys let's go ahead and open up the rest of these shark crates and then we're gonna get straight into the grinding so let me go ahead and just spam through all of these there we have it and then we're actually getting some pretty good robots as well two red star robots let's go ahead and uh, combine that to a lapis um, we've got a large crystal and then also a large booster let's go ahead and type in such deposit crystals and now we got our last few shark crates to go ahead and open up so let's go ahead and open these up boom and everything is now opened up and we also got ourselves another redstone robot um large beacon pouch let's go ahead and open up that 579 another large one and then a large crystal pouch let's go ahead and deposit crystals and now we can actually go ahead and place these robots down so let's type in such warp robots and then we'll place the lapis and also the redstone robot and i'm pretty sure in our such robots we have a bunch of e-tokens to go ahead and collect so let me type that in right now and collect all of our e-tokens so we got a total of 43.5 million e tokens i will go ahead and take them man let's go ahead and collect all there we go and now in total we got about 50 million e tokens sitting in the balance i still can't wrap my head around that this pickaxe skin is literally worth like 400 dollars in real life money bro that is insane let's go ahead and warp over to our mind though and i do want to go ahead and quickly put this to the test and see if a proc straight away or something like that yo there we go he just went ahead and hit a proc a dolphin just spawned in and he's breaking a bunch of blocks let's go ahead ahead and see if is it making us a bunch of e-tokens as well i mean it is kind of and oh yo there we go inventory fuel okay so i think for the oh, i just got kicked out of the server anyways as i was saying i think for this poseidon's wave skin i do need a bigger capacity backpack because every single time it procs it does fill it up straight away um once it you know completes and stuff like that so yeah we definitely do need a better capacity uh with our backpack and stuff like that so might as well actually spend a bunch of our e-tokens on this right now so yeah let's get a bunch of capacity for our backpacks so that we can go ahead and put it to the test once again maybe get like 
a million there we go and um how much is that let's go ahead and quickly just check that's gonna be 25 million e tokens i mean i'll go ahead and do that right now there we go and now our backpack capacity is 1 million and 59 000. anyways let's start mining again and see if we can get another proc with this pickaxe skin and see how far you know it fills up our backpack and stuff like that so yeah alrighty there we go we got ourselves another proc with the pickaxe skin now let's see how far uh, you know our backpack fills up and stuff like that bro if it literally fills up my inventory once again that'll be insane and um, we actually did 86,000 blocks worth and we made ourselves 21,000 e tokens honestly not too bad whatsoever we're actually making more e tokens as our auto sell works out as you guys can see right over here so yeah probably a lot more than 21,000 but yeah I feel like it will get more and more overpowered as our mine gets bigger and stuff like that as well so yeah definitely a W pull of the pickaxe skin and obviously I probably don't even know like the meta with it and like how to use it in its best way and stuff like that so I'll probably go ahead and learn that from like some of the better players on the server and stuff like that but for right now I mean I'll go ahead and take it. it's making us a lot more e tokens while we're mining and um, that is all that matters but yeah we do have 24 million e tokens to go ahead and spend so I think I'm gonna upgrade jackhammer and explosive and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get maybe 50 levels of this right now actually I want to get jackhammer to 200 levels so let's go ahead and do that there we go and now jackhammer's 200 levels and then with the rest let's go ahead and upgrade um explosive a bit so let's go ahead and get 50 levels of that and then we'll go ahead and just spam the rest of this just like that there we go and that is basically all of our e tokens gone right there we also got 12,000 beacons in the balance right now so let's type in such road boss and we can actually go ahead and upgrade one of these bad boys so i think i'm going to upgrade the miners luck because this increases the fortune which will be making us a lot more e tokens and stuff like that so yeah there we go level three now and then the next upgrade cost is 16,000 beacons i definitely want to check out the dungeons and war pve in today's episode as well to grind some beacons so that we can maybe get a few more upgrades going for ourselves but for right now i do want to stick to doing a bit of mining as i want to upgrade my pickaxe a little bit and i also want to rank up a little bit as well so that our mine gets a little bigger so yeah that is exactly what we're going to do ladies and gentlemen i'm going to go ahead and cut the clip right here and i'll bring you guys back later on and peace out all righty guys welcome back it is now the next day and as you guys can see we have actually been doing a bunch of grinding we got 160,000 blocks mined in total and also in our balance we got about 30 million e tokens and that is without collecting any of our drill money or anything like that so let's go ahead and collect that right now we got 32 million in here and then if we go ahead and also type in social robust we got another 82 million let's go ahead and collect that now what i want to do is i want to get to rank 200 because if we go ahead and type in such ranks real quick as you guys can see at rank 200 we actually get another drill and um, that's going to go ahead and help us out a lot so let's go ahead and type in such rank up next and there we go we are now rank 200 costed us about 11 million e tokens which is fine um but at least we now have ourselves another drill that we can place now so let's go ahead and type in such pv do pv1 oh no not pv1 let's do pv2 and we got ourselves another diamond drill that we can go ahead and place down so let's do that there we go and um now we should be making a lot more e tokens um while we're mining and stuff like that so yeah that is very good but i do want to spend the rest of the 134 million e tokens in the balance so let's do that right now let's go to the omni tool enchants and then we go to jackhammer and i'll probably spend about like let's get 100 levels of that and then another 100 levels and now we're sitting at 405 levels might as well actually get this to 500 flat right now so let's go ahead and do that there we go let's go ahead and buy another 15 levels and now jackhammer is at level 500 we still got 50 million e tokens in the balance so let's spend the rest of that on explosive right now so let's go ahead and do that and then just kind of just spam the rest of this there we go and um that is basically all of our e tokens gone right there but now we got explosive 360 and jackhammer 500 i got told to get explosive and jackhammer to both level 500 and then just start kind of saving up my e tokens for once i do unlock the laser enchant which is let me go ahead and quickly find it there we go laser right over here and this actually requires pickaxe level 5 we are currently pickaxe level 3 so two more levels and then we unlock the laser enchant so yeah we only need another 140 levels of explosive and then we're done upgrading our pickaxe for at the moment just until we get laser unlocked and then we'll start upgrading laser and uh, meanwhile we are unlocking laser as well i do want to kind of rank up my mine a bit more so it gets a bit bigger although i think i'm going to take a bit of a break we're going to do some grinding at war pve you know grind some mobs out grind some beacons out and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and grab our sword out we'll grab some enchanted golden apples as well and yeah we're basically ready to go ahead and start grinding the pve out i do want to go ahead and make as much beacons as possible so that we can upgrade our robot upgrades and once we 
do that, we're going to be making a bunch of E tokens from our rope So yeah, that is the goal for right now, boys. I'm going to sit here, grind for a while. Let's go ahead and actually eat one of these before we die and we lose all of our beacons that we already grinded for. But yeah, that's that for right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and cut the clip right here. We're going to grind this out for a while and I'll bring you guys back with an update clip later on and peace out. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. It is now the next day and boys, we have made a bunch of progress since the last clip. As you guys can see by our hand, we are using an axe and this actually costed me a bunch of beacons but somebody actually hooked it up on the server and um, I'm pretty sure we bought it for 25,000 beacons instead of buying it for 30,000 but it honestly is very very worth it as it kills mobs a lot quicker than a sword does so yeah definitely a very good purchase and um, you know a very good way to spend 25,000 beacons but I'm pretty sure that is all the enemies killed right there and now it's time to go ahead and warp over to spawn and kind of show you guys everything that we got done since the last clip so let's go ahead and and do that and um yeah so basically as i said we got this axe and we also got a bunch of enchants on the axe as well like beacon collector 20 and also soul steel 7 which costed me so much beacons to go ahead and get to now if we type in such pve enchants we only need three more levels to max our soul steel and only five more levels to go ahead and max our beacon collector so definitely we'll probably get this done in the next episode or so but yeah in total with the axe and all the enchants that we got we probably spent like about 500 hundred thousand beacons or so and so yeah boys that is a lot of beacons that we had to grind for we actually did do a few coin flips for some beacons as well and we ended up winning all of them so yeah that actually helped us out a lot with upgrading these enchants but so far so good we're doing very very well for ourselves let's go ahead and type in such rate boss and i actually do want to go ahead and either upgrade the miners luck or the mining team and i think i'm going to go ahead and go with the mining team so let's go ahead and do that there we go that's twelve thousand beacons gone right there now before we warp over to our mining complete some stuff before ending off the episode i do want to go ahead and kind of show you guys this and i might be doing this in the next episode so as you guys can see there is actually a poseidon's wave coin flip going on right now and we can actually join this and if we win that is basically another 400 to 500 dollars added to our pickaxe skins so yeah, if we win this then we can go ahead and sell one of them for like a bunch of coins and then do like a massive crate opening or you know we can sell them for like a bunch of beacons robots drills and stuff like that so I might do this at the start of the next episode. I'm still thinking about it though, because if I do end up losing this skin, then I will be very, very depressed. And also like that just means that I just lost like 400 to $500 worth of coins. But yeah, let's go ahead and warp over to our mine boys. We got some stuff to go ahead and collect. Firstly, let's go ahead and collect our robots for 145 million E tokens. Secondly, let's go ahead and type in such drills and collectors as well. 70 million right there. And now we are sitting at a total of 250 million E tokens. Now I want to rank up my mine as much as I can but before we do that let's go ahead and upgrade explosive to level 500 so let's go ahead and do boom 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 and then get another 100 levels of that and explosive is now level 500 and we are still sitting at 200 million e tokens so let's go ahead and type in such rank up all there we go and now we are rank 320 now let's type in such ranks and I want to see the next rank that we get drill number three unlock that and it should be yeah rank 400 as you guys can see max drills three and I'm um, saying so yeah we're like very very, very close to this and hopefully we should be able to get this very soon here only need another 80 more ranks and then we go ahead and unlock that but for right now bro 320 ranks is very good i mean look how big our mine is now i want to go ahead and quickly get one of those dolphin procs from our poseidon's wave enchant or skin and i'm um, kind of just see how much e tokens we make so let me go ahead and quickly get a proc of that real quick and then i'll go ahead and bring you all right back Alrighty, there we go we just went ahead and got ourselves a proc let's just let it do its thing real quick and then we'll see how much um you know our backpack fills up and stuff like that and um there's actually three of this so i'm pretty sure at the start there was only one and there we go you received 140,000 blocks and that made us 527,000 e tokens so yeah it is true what people have been telling me the bigger your mind is the more overpowered it gets and there we go we actually just got ourselves another proc and um also we actually got ourselves a magic wand and also a phantom pickaxe and um the phantom pickaxe you can only use once every three minutes and if we go ahead and quickly do that real quick as you guys can see you have zero out of one charges on your pickaxe left please wait three minutes between summons and it mines me 2000 blocks and this is basically just another pickaxe that mines for you and stuff like that and you can upgrade enchants and how you upgrade the enchants is by getting a certain enchant on your backpack called the prospector and i'm pretty sure you can also get gemstones by grinding the pve and dungeons and also uh, you know opening up keys and stuff like that but yeah that is that and we also got ourselves a magic wand as well um same thing with this basically um you get like five uses every single time you 
fully recharges as you guys can see and i um, mean yeah, this one's actually pretty overpowered i'm pretty sure this is more overpowered than this one but yeah boys i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the second episode here thank you so much for tuning into this episode if you guys did enjoy please do go ahead and drop a like if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys for a brand new video in the next few days and peace out